The staff members were part of Hapoel Petach Tikva. They have cuts and bruises to their faces. A mob of about 15 or so attackers rushed the field after the game, and they attacked employees who were picking up and packing equipment. Police emphasized that the local Polish club and the fans had nothing to do with the violence, and they believe it was a planned action because the attackers were careful to wait until police had left the area at the end of the match. Now, I'm with in, joining me in studio is Tzvika Riz, who is the spokesperson for the club, Hapoel Petach Tikva. Thank you for your time. Sure. First question, these staff members that were injured, injuries to their face, how are they doing today? Are they shaken up? Already the same night when it happened, they were already okay. Only one of them needed some stitches in, the, in his upper lip. Uh, but he's okay, he's fine. We all arrived last night uh, to the airport. And uh, the other players didn't, they weren't involved. There's no other injuries. They are the, these are the only two men. All right, so uh, thankfully they're going to be okay. Injuries to the face, some stitches, but they're okay. And the Israeli embassy said this was an anti-Semitic attack. Uh, describe for me as a, as a professional soccer club, when you travel abroad, when you compete internationally, there must be a unique feeling for Israeli players and Israeli teams, the extra security, the fear perhaps of being attacked. What's that like when you go abroad? Well, uh, yes, of course, we didn't realize that it's going to happen because the, we were there for almost a whole week and we had three matches there. None of them and we had problems and we didn't even have small light of fear. Only on the last match after the police left, that's when it happened. Uh, these hooligans, uh, they strike uh, those two uh, <coughs> uh, staff members. Uh, yes, it felt a little nervous. We didn't know what's happening uh, w when it happened. Uh, at first we thought it's a fight between fans or between the other club and the, our club. And, and then we saw it's, they came out from the forest, they're uh, dressing in white or something. To this morning we got some uh, news from the Legia Warsaw team. They uh, published on their website an official note that these are not their fans. The, the, um, you know, do you feel Polish security, Polish police let you down? Should they have stayed in the area longer since you were still packing up equipment? Yes, I believe that the policemen uh, should have stayed at least half an hour, one hour after the match. After all, are back in the hotel. They shouldn't have left right after the last whistle. Uh, so the, you, know, you want the police to stay longer. When you travel next time, will you ask authorities to make sure, will you increase security? Yes. How will you do that next time you travel abroad? Yes, I believe the next time we'll go, we'll go out to the training camp abroad, we will have more security in the hotel, police when needed, when we travel out, when we're inside training. We will, we'll, I think we'll do it even better than this time.